I'm in Japan, I'm walking down the street, me and Steve Bardo, my backcourt mate. We're in a place called Rapungi. We're walking down the street. A guy comes up to us and says, he can't speak a word of English, but he goes, flying a line eye, flying a line eye, Bardo, Gil. That's how powerful this university can be. There goes Bardo, flight 35. If you're a Chicagoland player, you come to the University of Illinois. If you have a great team, nobody's ever going to forget you. A lot of people believe that in order for Illinois to be flying Illini successful, they do need to get their share of the top Chicago public league kids. The city of Chicago was just hugely important to uh, Illinois uh, making it to the final four of the flying Illini. You had Kendall Gill from the suburbs, you had Marcus Liberty, Lowell Hamilton, Nick Anderson, Irvin Small, Small, and Nick being from Simeon. Jimmy Collins just did a great job in the Chicago area, and without him and his recruiting efforts, the Illini would not have flown. Once Coach Collins left the university, then that was sort of a lifeline that was cut off. Also, moving the state tournament from the University of Illinois. Kids 17 and 18 not being able to see that building. That was like our Final Four. And that's why I believe that Chicago was able to provide the University of Illinois with such great players because we all aspired to play in that building. If you look at the recruiting rankings every year, most of the guys from the state of Illinois, from the Chicago Public League, are from the city of Chicago, and those guys are highly rated. As many as 10 to 15 of those guys in the top 100 might be from the Chicago area. So if you're ignoring that if, as the University of Illinois, you're doing yourself a disservice. I knew right away that it was a priority for us uh, to recruit our state, uh, to recruit Chicago, uh, to make that an important area for us. There's a lot of talent there. There's a lot of tradition. I remember the day he was hired, we talked to a lot of the prominent coaches from Chicago and asked them what they thought about the hire, and, and most of them said, I don't know who John Gross is. He's going to have to come in here and, and build a relationship with the coaches, with the players, the AAU coaches, and the schools, and, and I think he's taken that pretty serious, and for the most part, he's done that. When you think Simeon, you think Illinois basketball, at least that's the way it used to be back in my era. Ben Wilson, number one player in the country when he was a senior, was going to commit to the University of Illinois. If you ask me, he would have been the greatest player to ever play at U of I. He had his life taken away from him by gunfire um, right before the season started. Best player wears 25. That's why Derrick Rose wore it. That's why Deion Thomas wore it. That's why Nick Anderson wore it. They wore it as a tribute to Ben Wilson because that was Ben Wilson's number. Things changed a little bit with the Chicago Public League when Coach Gross came in, breaking through with Kendrick Nunn, who was that first you know, big public league recruit that they got. I wanted to just bring that Chicago to Champagne pipeline back. You know, it's been there for a couple years, and I just felt that if I stay here, I'll start something special. Kendrick had a big influence on me coming here. Kendrick was the first one, you know, to come in here, and he said, you know, I want to, you know, stay in my home state. You know, I want to play for my home school. Jay and Kendrick played together in, in high school. For us to have those two guys know what winning looks like, smells like, feels like, you know, has been big for us. One of the things about successful programs, if you study them, is that they're able to put together back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back consecutive and successive recruiting classes. Following Kendrick and Jalen, we feel fortunate and blessed to secure uh, the signing and the commitment of DJ Williams, who's also one of their high school teammates. The next big challenge for Coach Gross is to try and pick off a kid like Derrick Rose, Jabari Parker, Julia Okafor, Anthony Davis. They went outside the state. But if you can get even the best Chicago kids below that level, I think you can be a pretty elite team. 